Hey guys, good morning. So I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready to make myself some breakfast and stuff like that. And today is Wednesday. This is one of my off days. I usually have Wednesday and then Saturday and Sunday off. But my schedule might actually be changing at work because I'm going to switch to a different department. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do today. I know I'm definitely going to be filming some videos for you all. And then past like couple of weeks, I've been telling myself I need to go file my taxes. But I just keep putting it off because I don't want to. And my face is really shiny right now because I just put some moisturizer on my face. So, but yeah, I'm just going to take you guys around today and show you guys like what I'm up to. saline implants put in it was right before will turned one so i'd had the aftermath of me filming <laughs> now i'm gonna have to clean all this mess up so yeah right now i'm just trying to import the footage of the stuff that i filmed for you guys today and yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I need to clean this mess up. <laughs> so I was getting ready to fix myself some lunch and I was gonna do a smoothie today. I got out two bags of pineapple because I'm almost out of this one. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna make a smoothie with pineapple, raspberries, mangoes, and then I'm just gonna use coconut milk and then maybe just like a little bit of vanilla extract to add just a little bit more like sweetness to it. Um, to kind of cut down the tartness of the raspberries. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make that for lunch. We'll just taste test this and see how it is. really good it's a little tart but I feel like putting that vanilla in there helped to kind of cut down the tartness but I really enjoy tart smoothies I really like I really love raspberries and smoothies <laughs> so I'm just gonna have this for lunch and then probably watch like another YouTube video or TV or something while I'm drinking this and then I'm going to head out and take you guys with me while I'm running my errands. I'm probably not going to file my taxes today because it's already like 12.15. And I would rather get there like first thing when they open. Because if I went now, I'd probably be waiting until like, I don't even know, probably like 5 before my taxes were done. And I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go to the grocery and stop by my mom's work. And I don't know. I wanted to go to Target, but... I probably won't go there like I want to buy some new like shirts and stuff but maybe I should wait a little longer before I like buy some clothes oh I meant to tell you guys this from my last vlog that I posted on Tuesday whenever Josh and I were doing archery and Josh and I we don't do archery like for hunting like I would not want to hunt any like deer or just animal like that I'm just not about that I don't like deer meat and stuff like that so but we just need he doesn't like to kill animals either um but the only reason we like to do archery oh my gosh it is so shaky and i apologize um i can kind of hope it i can't oh well i'm sorry um but the only reason that we like to do archery is because it's just something fun for us to do you know it's just fun. It's kind of like shooting a gun, like going to a gun range and like shooting a gun. It's just like something fun to do together. And it just kind of helps to release like tension, you know, and stress. So that's why we like to do archery. Oh my gosh. Bouncy, bouncy roads. The roads are so bouncy and through here. So I don't really know what to do to help like get myself back into the routine of working out again. Like, I'm not fat, but I feel like I've gotten kind of flabby, and I just 
really want to get back into working out again and just feeling better. I mean, I feel pretty good and most days I eat pretty healthy, but I don't know. I like my chips. I usually have a bag of chips every day. That's like the one thing that's so hard for me to give up. And I like candy, like I love candy bars and stuff like that, but I don't really eat candy every single day like I do chips. Um, and then I have another like really bad habit that I need to stop and I can't. It's I've tried to stop so many times. And if you notice in my vlog on Tuesday, I have band-aids like on my thumbs and I think on this finger right here. But I have the worst habit of picking my cuticles. Like, I've had this problem since I was, like, in elementary school. I don't even know when I started to do it, but I can't stop now, and it really bothers me. And the only way that I have been able to stop picking is if I use Band-Aids, because if I have Band-Aids over my fingers, I don't pick, or if um, I get my nails done, like get like acrylic nails, but I don't really like to get acrylic nails because for one, it tears up your nails. Two, it can get expensive, like going every couple weeks to get them filled in. And three, it's just like time consuming. I don't really wanna go and like sit and get my nails filled in. You know, I got so many other things I need to do. I mean, sometimes it is relaxing, but a lot of times it's not really even that relaxing. I just, the whole time I'm in there, I'm just thinking like, hurry up, I wanna get out of here. So I don't really know what to do to stop. I mean, if any of you guys out there have had this problem and know of a way to like stop doing it, please let me know. Cause I just don't really know what to do anymore. I feel like my shirt's riding up. Um, so yeah, that's something that I just, get so down on myself about like I feel like I'm so hard on myself and I wish I wasn't that way I wish I was more like happy-go-lucky like just didn't take things so serious I'm kind of a serious person and I feel like I take things way too seriously sometimes so I just got out of my mom's work um, and picked up that paper that I need to get for my taxes and now I'm heading I guess I need to turn this off. <laughs> Radio can't even hear me talking. I'm gonna go to the grocery now, I think. <sighs> I really wanna go to Target so bad. I don't know, I might be bad and go to Target. <laughs> I might not get anything, but I'll at least look over the I'm good. So yeah, I just saw Walgreens and I wanted to go in here real quick and look because I know that Wet n Wild is coming out with their new spring collection and some of those highlighters look awesome. So I want to see if they have any of that stuff here, which it might only, you might only be able to get it online right now. So I'm going to go in here and see if they have anything. You guys know how much I love Wet n Wild. I always get so excited when I know they have new stuff coming out. <gasps> So that was really exciting. So I found some of the Wet n Wild Spring Collection stuff in Walgreens. Shoot, man, it's hot. Um, let me start my car up. It's like getting hotter. I might just take this jacket off. But yeah, I was really excited about that. They didn't have the highlighters. So where's my keys at?
So I just got out of Target and I got a couple of cute shirts. I'm not going to show you guys right now because my phone is about to die and I still need to go to the grocery and then I was going to text Josh on my way home so he could start heading over and I'm going to fix us like burgers and stuff for dinner tonight. So yeah, I'll just probably do a haul video just showing you guys like that wet and wild stuff and the shirts that I got at Target and maybe if I get anything else the rest of the week I'll do like a little haul on it. Um, I wish I could have found those highlighters. I stopped at that other Walgreens and they didn't have them. So, so disappointed. I might have to just order them online or maybe just not worry about it. I mean, because they are limited edition, but those highlights, those spring wet one highlights looked so beautiful. So, yeah, kind of gutted about that, but <laughs> it looks like I have hairy arms. <laughs> <laughs> They're can openers. I know, it's garbage. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a cheap can opener. <laughs> I need to get a better one. It's like, what, for a quarter of the turn it's grabbing it and then after that it's not. Yeah, it sucks. That bacon already smells really good. I know, it smells good just opening up the package. There was this other bacon that they had It said that it was, I forgot what flavor it was, but they said it was like a limited edition. And I was like, why would you get that? Because what if you really liked it and then they're not going to have it anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I was like coming up real slow. <laughs> that I saw on the internet, uh, there was a bunch of people discussing whether or not they keep their tomato, tomato, their ketchup in the uh, fridge? fridge or not. And then um, apparently, because of the acidity of ketchup, you don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. That's why, like at restaurants, it's just out on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured it didn't need to be refrigerated because whenever I used to look at Cracker Girl, they never refrigerated their ketchup. And so I just thought, you know. But I don't know what started that whole thing, why people started refrigerating it. Maybe they just like coat ketchup? Maybe it's because most people leave all their condiments in the fridge. That's so. true, so it's not like in the pantry. Yeah. I was thinking about doing that with my uh, Texas Pete today because I usually keep my Texas Pete and everything, all mother hot sauces in the fridge. I was like, whatever. I was like, I'm so weird. I don't like to put hot sauce in the fridge because I feel like it makes it all cold and it's supposed to be hot. You know, even though it's hot, I don't know. It's just weird the way that I think about it. <laughs> yep. I guess I need to get butter. Please. <laughs> I need a fork. I need butter. We're we going to be loud and obnoxious. That's fun. We're cooking burgers. Hopefully it cooks good. Here's some salt. Do you need some salt and stuff? Garlic. I feel like you put that on the last time. <laughs> I see bacon burgers. Oh, see how this is going to turn out. without the buns. Can I say something? Just talking about lunch. There is a clause in the contract which specifically states any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I don't want to hear it. I want to go home and party. Michael, will you just listen to the man?